I would describe it as like no other place in the seven cities because it literally is like no other place. It is esoteric. So here in Virginia Beach we have a really unique culinary situation, a really beautiful culinary situation. Our proximity to the Atlantic Ocean gives us so many opportunities for amazing seafood, for aquaculture, oysters, all those sorts of things. And I do think East Coast seafood is really amazing. I would describe the, the food scene here modern American with worldly influence. I've been here since I was three years old. I've found myself wanting to get away, but Virginia Beach just keeps pulling me back because of how much I, I just love the, the growingness of it and how everyone's coming together. I grew up in the restaurant business. It is in my blood, it's in my bones. Um, it is in every fiber of my being. Um, my grandparents were immigrants from Cyprus and there's really a European uh, feel there. And that's what I really wanted to bring to this area. Um, an experience that is dominated by conversation, not television and social media and all these distractions that we have, but really just um, a reverence to the traditional dining experience. With Brian, our executive chef, his passion is so obvious. You only have to spend about 10 minutes with him to see that this is what he was born to do. I dedicate literally my, my whole life to wanting to become a great chef in this area. I love cooking. I really, really love the fact that I can work with good people. I'm blessed to have such a good team that wants to work just as hard. But I think that the most important part about the Virginia Beach culture is it's evolving. Both the tourist is evolving and the local is evolving. We are amongst artisans, amongst other restaurateurs, amongst coffee shops, retail. That's really important to us. And the garden sort of centralizes that. That is our focal point. That is what sort of brought us all together. So Roos Flowers has, has things that she grows out there. Commune, of course, has garden beds. We have garden beds that we share. Um, so it's really a collaboration. You know, there's not a competition. We truly work together. So we want a movement, really, a culinary movement that's inspired by food, beverage, conversation, all of those important things. We really work hard to seek out high quality products with the food and beverage. And, you know, the food industry has been evolving over the last 10, 15 years uh, with the focus coming back to high quality ingredients, locally sourced. Virginia has all kinds of stuff going on with it, with the peanuts and the ham and all these local farmers. We are like 20 minutes away from Punga, which has like tons of farms. It has people that are starting to raise their own livestock. And we were able to purchase it here literally like 20 minutes away. It's like chef and farmer coming together. It's pretty cool. Um, and now we're really seeing a revolution in the beverage industry, uh, which I love as well. It starts with the beer list. The beer list and the tap creates it all because it drives the quality that we want to that we want to bring with the food. My favorite cocktail right now, our, our cocktails are always changing and seasonal, but right now my favorite cocktail is the Blood Orange Whiskey Sour. This is such a beautiful drink. We have the citrus, which really brightens it and balances it, the right alcohol in it, and it's just a well-mixed drink, which is the beauty of any cocktail. My favorite dish here has a lot of special meaning. It is a recipe from my yaya, the Cypriot. It's the domadis which is a classic Greek Cypriot dish wrapped in grapevine leaves, which we grow outside. And it just feels like, to me, a bit of my past, a bit of my present, and a bit of my future. What I want to pass on and leave as my legacy. So there are all different components of this business. Of course, this is a restaurant, but our outdoor space and our tenant east space lends us to more than just dining. The demand is for finer products, not necessarily at a high cost, but just a return to things that once were. So I think it's a sort of a beautiful evolution um, of the culture in Virginia Beach.